I fixed the symbol and that's a win because they sent my money back. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. Today I'll be testing the Sambo 117 Air. So it's 117 because it's 117 grams. And the Mavlos Resolute Ultralight. I'm throwing a 6 gram crankbait from Kingdom. I think it's the Fat Boy. I think I fixed, I don't know if you can see, the Sambo. I will leave a link for a friend of mine that is testing this reel in Australia before putting the o-ring here. You will have a lot of movement on the side play of the spool and this o-ring what it makes it's it fix the rattle the rattling that you have on the <coughs> spool tension knob and I think this o-ring making always pressure uh, on the on the spool adjustment knob will fix it so let's let's see if, firstly I'll go there and try to cast by the end of the video you'll understand why I need open areas to test my casts I'm getting 15 to 20 meter casts with the crosswinds coming from left to right and I have no problems managing the wheel. Ooh. Nice movement on the bait. No problem casting it. I know it's 6 grams. You still have a bit of rattling. But I think that can be also the bearings. Very, very wild action. So, I think I fixed the symbol, and that's a win because they sent my money back. So, Yes! Yes! I will make a slow-mo for you guys. Now let's see if something works in the river. Yep, that was fireworks. We have that every day. So I go around all the spots down and up the creek. Going smaller and deeper. I had to change statics. And lighter because this is only four and a half grams. See, I just did a 360 no scope. And from no scope to no hope. I continue to try to find fish. Oh, I catch something on the drift. Very, very weird. Or maybe I snag it by the way it's fighting. I think I snagged it. The way it's fighting was very, very weird. But we know there are fish in here. Probably there are fish in here. Probably. Right in here. In my front. Oh. Ah, don't go, don't go, please don't go, please don't go. This is a good one. Mm. 
Jesus, this will not be easy. I don't even know if my camera is recording. Yes, it's recording. I forgot about it. Ah. Try to not send anything on the water. Look at this healthy boy. <coughs> and now my bowl just goes in the water and I have to manage everything while I have the fish on the net. It was very annoying, but I still manage it. <laughs> yeah. I think this fellow yeah, breaks my PB for by one centimeter. And I think this is what I'm going to see on the next few trips. If I break my PV, it will be around this size, P35, 36. I will not think I will be beating 40 in this stretch of the river. Maybe I need to go a little bit downstream for it. But so nice fish. Thank you, buddy. I had no problem whatsoever dealing with it with the Mavlos Resolute and the Sembo. Even played a little bit of drag on it. Let's see if I can catch anything else. My time is running out, but at least I discounted with a new PB. So I increase in one centimeter. But this one felt, uh, I would say, bigger. It felt fatter and older. It felt like an older fish. This is weird. I'm having a easier time to catch fish, christen the rod and the reel on the winter, that in the autumn and the spring. Very, very, very weird. Also weird is that I did it with casting gear, which you don't see in Portugal. I never saw anyone using casting gear in Portugal in person. I know that there are guys that use it because I see it in Facebook groups. But it's such a weird winter for me. I was, I did some pre-rigging for Texas rigs, but I will not be able to do them while the water is like this. I need more water clarity to try to put uh, to pull a BFS ultralight Texas rig on these shubs. And yeah, now I'm just getting cocky. And after some time in the water pipe, I see that the fish are going downstream, and I follow suit after them. And this ultra cast on the white space, right on the ah, three branches, and it's gone. So, this is the end of the session. I've been fishing with the uh, Mavlos Resolute and the uh, Sembo 117 Air. And I can say that the O-ring just fixed the problem. This is a serviceable reel after you're doing that. Which means, if you want to go to the trouble that putting the O-ring on the spoiler tension adjustment knob, you will fix the reel. So I could cast and I really enjoy the combo. It's a very, very slick looking combo. I had no problem casting uh, lures up until three grams. So, sorry by the wind, I cannot control it. I will be doing further testing with this rod and this reel because I really enjoy the combo. And I managed to land a very, very solid fish on it. And I will be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.